dumb stuff y'all well actually two dumb things <laughs> dummy but the first dumb thing is i got it i got Ooh, this big heavy boy <sighs> well 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 if it ain't serious it's so serious big boy green I've been waiting a long time for this little boy. I got this boy is huge. Got a hat behind it. Whew. Got the MPC 60, y'all. After months and months of saving, I got it. And the, the second dumb thing was this. <laughs> Dummy! <laughs> Dummy! One little change up. Got my hat twisted. I don't like it, but can't keep the wife up off me now. She be hiding around corners ready to pounce on me. So I might have to watch this out. I'm a middle-aged man. I can't, I can't perform like that no more. I'm not a teenager. George? Oh, come on, we just too tired. Ha <laughs> <laughs> anyway, MPC 60. What can you say about it? I guess this will be the, the great granddaddy. If the 3000 is the granddaddy. I had it for a couple days and right now it's stock. So it only has 750 kilobytes of memory, which is half a floppy disk. Half of a floppy disk. I'm running into problems with saving sounds on here. I get about three or four sounds in and then I run out of memory. So this is gonna be a two-parter. First part is stock, I'm gonna go through it, all the stock features, but I already purchased the upgrade, the EPROMs, the chips. So they came yesterday. I don't wanna install them yet because I'm getting used to just the, the stock workflow, which is, I haven't figured out how to make the sounds cut off from one pad to another, to change it from, in the 3000, the poly, to put it on mono, so only one sound, uh, one sample play at a time. Haven't figured out how to change that yet. What else? Oh, I love the 12-bit, that crunchy sound, that old school, you know, boom bap, boof, 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 you can hear it, the crunch of it. All right. floppy drive so I ordered the the memory upgrade the SCSI interface the SD drive too so I'm waiting on all that stuff to come that's gonna be the part two once I upgrade it and that'll make the OS it's very similar to the the 3000 OS the 3.15 Vimano Vimano can't remember which one but I ordered that, and once that come, I'll shoot the part two, but I'm familiar with the 3000, so that'll be easy. I'm finding it um, difficult to go through most of the, the functions on this and make a beat, like it's similar to the 3000, but not quite, you know, most of the sounds, well, actually it's a monophonic sample or so. Not getting stereo, we get stereo outs, but then you gotta pan your sounds left or right. But getting used to the workflow, getting used to sampling and assigning pads or assigning sounds to pads. So with this, it's not necessarily pad number, it's sound that corresponds to the pad. So like the bottom corner, which would be pad one, on here is hi-hat. And you have to assign the sound to hi-hats. And I generally like my kick right there. My kicks, usually the first row, my stairs the second. But if I'm only sampling one sound, I put the kick on one and put the, the snare on five or six. 
six, because I want it directly on top most of the time. Then I'll put the hi-hat on. Three, which is snare on here, or four, which is bass. And put all my, my samples at the top. If I'm not doing the, the row, the kicks on the bottom, the snares in the middle, hi-hats on the third, and then bass, whatever, one-offs up at the top. Uh, it only has two sound banks. It doesn't have four yet, so only 32 uh, different sounds. Uh, interesting, the slider on this, it's called the Hi-Hat Decay. So the bottom corner, pad one, you can sign three sounds to this pad. And I think that's interesting. It should have been on all pads, but it probably would have got a little confusing because then you would have to put it all on one. But anyhow, Hi-Hat Decay, based on the slider, it, you can load those three sounds and based on the slider position is which sound to play. So if you have it at the top, It'll play the the hi hat that the the open. And then if you put it in the middle, it'll play the mid. And then I think the bottom zero is closed. Could be opposite. I'll have to check that again. But all in all, so far like this boy i like the sound I like the sampling is 12 bit getting used to this boy i'm sure a quick video of me making uh it's it's gonna be a very stripped down beat because i can't with the floppy can't save a lot of sounds and i had to find floppies around the house and it wasn't as pricey as the the mpc 3000 it was a little less, but I bought that fully maxed out. Oh, new glasses too. I had to get some progressives because I can't read these screens anymore, especially this. Like it has a nice screen, nice size, but the backlight is very low to contrast. You can change it, but it doesn't change much. So I had to get the progressives on this. It's a fairly clean model. Had a few issues, had some gunk on the side. I got the goop off. I got it off. Only issue I see so far is this bottom side panel. And I'm ordering the wood for this anyway. I found a guy in Poland for 200 bucks. Get the wood panel, but this is broken right here. But that's about it. This boy is clean, man. I was very impressed when I got it. No spots, no rust. Just had that little bit of gunk. All the buttons. I really want to take the buttons out of here and put it into the 3000 because none of these are, are rubbed off or anything. They're a little yellow, and I saw a process online to turn them back white, but I don't know if it's worth it, especially for the buttons that got text on them. All right, the MPC-60, released in 1988, the very first MPC. What was I doing in 1988? Um, I remember when Ice-T was my favorite rapper in the 80s. Big, big, my mother to take me on, you know, in Chicago. Shut down! We had Madison and Pulaski where, you know, you go shopping, you know, as I got older, teenage years, where you go get your Pelly Pellies, your, your Levi's, right there, or whatever outfit was out at that time. Averex, them big ass Averex jackets. So I convinced her to take me up there and buy me the iced tea tape. I think it was $10. Power. I get home, I'm playing the tape, I'm loving it, I'm going through the songs. Um, I get to the, what is it? L, G, B, N, A, F song. Let's get butt naked. And yeah. Do that stuff that your mama calls smut, girl. Let's get butt naked. And I get to that. I, I was blasting that CD with all the other cursing on it. But this is the time my mother happened to be walking by my room. She said, this is what I just bought. You drive me crazy with them big old butts. Girls, let's get butt naked. I can never buy you another rap tape ever. Don't even ask. She didn't take the tape, though. She let me listen to it. So I was happy. The feel of it. The pads are very spongy but firm. Like, I like the pads on the older machines better than the new ones. I like the button feels. Just pressing the buttons, I feel like quality. So... 
It's a, a great little machine. I'm glad I purchased it. This is part one with just a regular basic beat for what I could do right now. I've had it a couple weeks. Been trying to work a little bit more with it every day. Uh, got the, the EEPROMs. It's funny, I learned how to program on microcontrollers, assembly language. So I, I used to create these, the, the operating system and the PROMs. Well, not create it, but I used to work on it when I was programming stuff. So. So yeah, got that waiting on the memory. That should be here in a couple days. Uh, then I'm gonna go do part two once I upgrade. But I will say I'm kind of, I'm on a fence. Like I wanna upgrade, but then I don't. Like I, I like the original feel of it. So if I add the, the, the new OS, the four chips, and it's, it's a little too similar to the 3000. I may downgrade back and just keep the, the larger memory. Now I have the option because it's chips. Well, you had the option anyway, even if you're using flash memory or something. But yeah, so we'll go from there. This is part one, just a quick intro to the MPC 60. And then I'll do a part two where with the upgrades. All right, this this far as I got. Back to song mode. Conclusion, let me go through a couple of cons for the MPC-60. Uh, first one is the attached power cord. Like you can't, if that cord goes bad, you gotta switch it out. And it looks like you gotta do a little soldering on the inside to do it too. So don't like that it's not detachable. Uh, I haven't figured out the polyphony on this. Like it, you could play 32 sounds at once, 
but I haven't figured out how to cut those samples off when I'm chopping the sample, manually chopping the sample, by the way. Yes, chopping by numbers and sounds. Still frustrating, no matter how many times y'all say it, still frustrating when the modern NPCs get just auto chop. So that's a con for me. Uh, floppy drive, 1.44 megabytes to save a sound. Does compress the sounds to make them smaller, but I can't fit more than, what, four or five sounds on a floppy disk? Uh, not enough memory, the stock version has only 13.1 seconds of sample time. With the memory expansion, it'll double it, so it'll give you uh, 26 seconds, but that hasn't came yet, so I'm working with limited sample time. And that goes with another con, just not enough memory. Uh, screen is a con because, you know, these eyes don't focus the way they used to. I got 20-20 vision, I can read all the letters on the sign but they just don't focus and that's part of getting older. So I need backlight on the screen. And I'll update that to one of those high contrast screens eventually. Not right now though. Uh, pros, sound. I love the crunchy sound of this. I love the way the sample sound. Uh, sampling directly into it. I'm not doing like what I did when I first got the 3000. The lazy man way just, you know, sampling off a of record into, you know, FL Studio or Audacity or SoundForge even, and then putting those on a disc and putting them in the machine, going straight from turntable to the MPC 60. No middleman on it to get that nice crunchy sound. And what goes along with the sound as a pro is the 12 bit sampling. Uh, 16 voice polyphony. I'm gonna have to check that. I think I read one place 16 voices and then another 32. So I have to check that, but that's that's a plus on it. Um, and uh, workflow similar, similar to the MPC 3000 and Sun, but not quite yet, not as refined. I guess we were going up to the peak, and this is a stop on the way. And then the 3000, in my opinion. In my opinion, is the peak. And then you start, you know, going down the mountain, down the curve. Then you get to the 2000, that 2000 Excel. The well, it might start going up again once we get to the the 4000. Then it start, you know, with the 1000, the 2500, the 5000, 500 too. Which you know, I I got the 500. I like. It. I got most of them actually. I bought a 5,000, but it was it was the past one working, so I had to send it back. So I got all of them. So anyway, those are the pros. And to sum it up, I like the machine, I like the sound, I like the, the feel of it, the feel of it. Yeah, so we'll go from there. This is part one, just a, a quick intro to the MPC 60, and then I'll do a part two where with the upgrades, so. Thanks for watching.